In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, and love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And My dear brothers and sisters, you are most welcome to Eucharistic celebration this morning. And this Mass, Jen Nabui, pray for our sister, who passed away two years ago. May our soul rest in peace. She also prays for all the souls in purgatory. Today, we shall hear someone who is challenged physically and emotionally, but has not given up in life. And he goes to look for a solution to the one who could give him that solution, and that is Jesus Christ. So together with this intention, let us also surrender our lives to Jesus, especially where we feel challenged that he may come to our help. Before we do this, let us remember that we are sinners, acknowledge all our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have created a sin in my thoughts and my words in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God, our Masonas, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have, Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that the course of our world may be directed by your peaceful Lord, and that your church may rejoice and troubled in our devotion. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. The work of the Lord is full of his glory. The first reading. A reading from the book of Sirach. I will now call to mind the works of the Lord and will declare what I have seen. By the words of the Lord, his works are done, and in his will, justice is carried out. The sun looks down on everything with its light, and the work of the Lord is full of his glory. The Lord has not enabled his holy ones to recount all his marvelous works, which the Lord, the Almighty, has established that the universe may stand firm in his glory. He searches out the abyss and the hearts of men and considers their crafty devices. This is the word of the Lord. A responsorial psalm will be Come before the Lord singing for joy. Come before the Lord singing for joy. 
Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Know that he, the Lord, is God. He made us. We belong to him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Enter his gates with thanksgiving and his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come before the Lord, singing for joy. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, Come before the Lord, singing for joy. of the world, says the Lord. He who follows me will have the light of life. be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, o Lord. At that time Jesus was leaving Jericho with his disciples and a great multitude, but Timaeus a blind beggar, the son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And many rebuked him, telling him to be silent. But he cried out all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. And Jesus stopped and said, Call him. And they called the blind man, saying to him, Take heart, rise, he is calling you. And throwing off his cloak, he sprang up and came to Jesus. And Jesus said to him, What do you want me to do for you? And the blind man said to him, Master, let me receive my sight. And Jesus said to him, Go your way, your faith has made you well. And immediately he received his sight and followed him on the way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, today we move with this son, 
of Timaeus Bartholomeus. We enter in his world of blindness and uh, we try to imagine how this world is. It must have been terrible for him because first of all he was born seeing and after he could not see again. That is very terrible. So he must have gone to different people, he must have tried so many things so that he can recover his sight, but it seems all was in vain. This can happen to us when we get a challenge in life. It is so terrible, and we try so many ways, and we seem not to be getting the right solution to our problem, to our challenge. And we may begin thinking even, no, we may begin saying, no, maybe I was bewitched. Uh, I cannot be well again. And this was possible because this man for sure was from Jericho because Jesus Christ was just leaving Jericho. So he was one of the villagers from this village of Jericho. And we know what Jericho means. Jericho was a place where you got all the evil spirits, all the sicknesses were in Jericho. So there were so many challenges in Jericho. That's why Jesus Christ went there several times in order to set free these people. So he could have said, okay, they bewitched our village. As long as I come from this village, I can't be healed. But you see, but Remeus went beyond all those uh, fears, and then when he heard that Jesus was on the way, he was coming, he cried out for solution. Secondly, uh, we are told this about Timaeus. Timaeus, son of Timaeus. Timaeus meaning fear. So there are also those problems that we attribute to our parents. We say, I am like this because of my father, because of my mother, because of my grandparents, so I cannot change. No. With Jesus, you and I, we can change even those things we think we have inherited from our grandparents and our parents. Jesus can stop all that. And the, this man physically, as we hear, he had lost his sight. So he had all these problems, but I like him and I think he also like this man. He do not just remain there. Okay, of course, like uh, Zacchaeus, uh, he had to go and look for a solution, and this solution came from Jesus. Like Matthew, who was also sitting, this man is also sitting, but when he hears somebody higher, somebody whom he knows he can help him, he goes beyond all this, you know, thing that has been thinking about himself, and he goes to Jesus Christ who could hear him. This man also sitting, we discover, he didn't sit in the village. He didn't remain in the village where there were so many problems and challenges and spirits so that he can even get more spirits. But he withdrew from the village and he was sitting on the roadside. Our problems cannot be solved if we remain entangled in them. We have to find a safe place. We come out from the problem. Because when we remain in the situation of problem, every time we think about the problem, we can even become the problem ourselves. But this man came out from Jericho and went at least on a free road, which was safe, where he knew someone from another village which has no problems may help him. Very important to, to come out of what you are facing. And thirdly, this man used all, when he heard that the solution is coming, he used whatever he could. And he, what did he think? He thought that he still has a voice. He still has a voice. He can cry out even if people are so many from Jericho following Jesus. But with this loud cry, Jesus will hear him. So we have to use whatever means is there. Let us not give up on life. Let us not give up on what we are doing. 
when we are faced with challenges, but let us try to see what am I left with, which support system am I left with, and let us use it to continue to look for the solution to what we are facing. Never give up in life, because life does not give up on you. This man never gave up on, in life, and we see he gets a solution. Even when there are so many obstacles, you know, you try to cry out, people are saying, no, don't disturb the master, you know, but still he went ahead because he knew what he wants is good for him. It is important for me. So let nothing and nothing stop you from pursuing what you have to pursue as long as you know it is good, it's according to the will of God. Nothing and nothing should separate you from God, should separate you from that desire, that goal which you have in life. Even when your friends come and discourage you, this will not work as long as you know it is good for you. And it is according to God's will, may you go ahead and pursue it and God will be with you. So Jesus Christ, as usual, so loving and compassionate, he returns the sight of this man because the man had cried to him. Meaning that all those who go to Jesus, he cannot let you down. He will always answer and he will return. He will return all that you have lost. Most of us have lost so many things in life. We must have, we could have lost even, you know, uh, uh, many things. For example, out of sickness, out of maybe a negligence or, or loss even of business or whatever. COVID made us to lose even some jobs. So Jesus is saying, don't worry. Continue crying. This is the call. Continue crying to me. You will regain all you have uh, lost. Let us surrender to him all those things that we think we have lost in life and say, Jesus, I want to regain what I have lost and for sure he will come and help you. My sons and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Accept the sacrifice at your hand for the praise and the glory of His name. O God, who provide gifts to be offered to your name and count our blessings as signs of our desire to serve you with devotion, we ask of your mercy 
that what you grant as a source of merit may also help us to attain merit's reward through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. This is right and just our duty and our salvation, always and ever to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnated by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you our holy people, he stretched out his hands as endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with all the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the Holy O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make all therefore these gifts we pray. By sending down your spirit upon them and you for, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered the wing into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, suppose he ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave to the disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it. For this I saw my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which is poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, we celebrate the more of the death and resurrection of you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thunder to avoid us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partake of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church prayer throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Paul Semgele, our apostolic administrator, and all the clergy. Remember your servant whom you called from this world to yourself. Grant that she was united with your son, just like his. She may also be one with him in his direction. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, all we pray. That with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Daniel Combon, St. Bakita, the Uganda Matters, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son. Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all grand honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come. Your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As you are with the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. 
Look not on our sin, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Behold the Lamb of God, the body, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who call the supper of the Lamb. I'm not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say a word, and my soul shall be hid. May the blood and blood of Christ keep us safe and bring us to eternal life.
Let us pray. Nice by your saving gifts, we beseech you, our mercy, Lord, that by this same sacrament with which you feed us in the present age, you may make us partakers of eternal life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our mass is ended. Let us go to love and serve the Lord. Have a blessed day.